So guys, what's up? Are you guys doing well? And it's a beautiful day, actually. Uh, it's a beautiful day on my end. A bit cold in Jobic, but it's a blessing. <laughs> All right, so come over, guys. Let's have a conversation. All right, so I just saw this article and I'm like, wow. So it's, by the way, today is April Fool, but this is not, has nothing to do with April Fool because this article was written yesterday. Where was she and I to reach out to Nelson Chamis? And also you heard what um, David Quarter said when he had an interview with HSTV. So what are we going to be discussing this afternoon? Also going to be looking at um, Wiki Noshivayo, you know, donating a million US dollars. And yes, good to see you. You're first in line. You have always been an amazing person. Good to see you. <laughs> I'm sending you some love. Guys, don't forget to like the live. Let's have a conversation. This is a hot word, guys. I know. Remember when we started dealing with the issue of... Um, the triple C drama. I kept on asking a question. What do you guys think about uh, Washman, Nuvet, and WT and all the cabals who come together so they can be able to work against the shenanigans of Zang PF that you are seeing today? You're seeing everything that is happening in town. So I'm asking you to say, yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Let's have a conversation. Michi, good to see you. I have seen quite a number of people and I want to say I'm sorry, yeah. But um, conversation is very, very important. Uh, whether we like it or not, it's not PFR on the campaign trail. These people are always in the election mode, whether you like it or not. Last time I remember uh, Deputy Mugano uh, literally uh, tackled the same issue when he said, um, gone are the days where ZANPF used to actually respect civil servants. You know, whenever the doctors cried and teachers, they would turn back and say, what's your problem? I also do remember what, um, you know, Job Scala said, that there was a time they demonstrated the University of Zimbabwe. And Mugabe said, come through, let's have a chat. But in 2024, with this current administration, they care less. <laughs> they do not care whether you are jumping, you are sitting, you are crying, you are drinking, you are laughing. They do not care. What they are focusing on is only power. You know why? So they can do what they please anytime without consequences. Protecting one another. That's what I'm seeing right now. Honestly, I love them as brothers, but the shenanigans that's going down within the parameters of ZANPF, absolutely diabolical, you know? <laughs> you know, I love to use that word. What it simply means is satanic. It's evil. What's going on right now do not make sense. All right, so now we want to be looking at um, what's happening now with the triple C cabals and that they are reaching out to have a conversation with Nelson Chamisa. Um, let me say this because where we are right now, we do not want to use feelings, okay? We are communicating. We're going to apply our minds. We are against ZANPF, that even now they are also trying to work together with some of the G40 guys because the goal is to win you know, um, you know, people's hearts towards the third, um, you know, the, the third term that the that the alleging that President Manangabwa is uh, is in, is in, in search of. Although even the president is saying, I am not in pursuit of any third term, but the actions that are going down in Zanu PF are on on the uh, on is on confirming that honestly these people are desperate, are desperate for a third term. The actions are unbelievable. I have never seen such madness. I've never seen such madness. <laughs> I've never seen. So we are going to be getting to talk about the madness that's going down in ZANPF. But right now, let's take a look at this article very closely while we're discussing about the triple C cabal. And I, I remember giving you a background. You know what happened when, um, you know, Tendebi, T. Washman, Mafume, Wendy, they said, no, we are, oh no, a, a, another faction of triple C. We also had uh, Songezo who came in and hijacked this thing by the help of ZANPF. For me, I'm like, Sangesh Shangu was simply a Zampia person who invaded the space and began to capitalize on what was going down. And then, what did they do? Record all, almost all the members of parliament and councillors that were that belonged to the Triple C banner, you know. And um, then we were not sitting with uh, Tendai is saying. We belong to the old structures, which, which they were referring to the MGC structure. We also saw Washman confirming the same, Mafume confirming the same. Now that we are here, that they are trying to reach out to Nelson Chamisa and said, hey guys, and I think maybe both ways, we need to look at it both ways. I think even Nelson Chamisa as well, I'm sure people are advising him and said, oh, look at this. The goal that we are having in Zimbabwe is to have a better nation. 
Everyone wants a better nation. People don't care less about political parties, which includes me. <laughs> I just want us to have a better Zimbabwe. Because remember, we invested so much you know, during the Triple C campaign. We were hoping that we were going to be free by now. But where are we today? So is it not wiser for Zimbabweans to come together across the spectrum? I'm talking about civil society, <laughs> business sector, um, I'm, you know, different political parties. I'm also referring to the church, you know, Again, we have another branch of the church that have completely disappointed us. I'm going to deal with it a little bit later. But I want to deal with this right now. And say, guys, for the purpose that we are facing now, because, guys, you have been beaten up, arrested, tortured, most of these guys. And what, to, the, to, the, to, to, to the what? To simply sell off this struggle. Is it necessary? Is it worth it? Aren't you wise enough to say, let's come back to, and work together? Uh, do you also remember when I covered the story that um, was dropped on, on X when they said, what are y'all going to do when ZANPF come together, the G40? We also saw recently some of the G40 guys were expelled, but others were actually invited or accepted in the, in the space. What is that supposed to mean? They are building their momentum. The momentum against, not, not, you need to remember, the momentum of Zanpev is not against Chamisa. Let me make this clear. As much as we know Chamisa is the strongest candidate right now that we are dealing with, we are much aware of that. But we must not forget that the, the goal for Zanpev is against the entire Zimbabwe. Because people that are suffering today is not Chamisa. I always tell you that as much as Chamisa want to be a leader, Chamisa is an advocate. He's a qualified person. His wife's an attorney. They have food in their house, but we have many Zimbabweans who are going to bed with empty stomach. That's what we need to focus on. How can we revamp that society, resuscitate and make sure that our people can go to bed, you know, something in their stomach. Not only going to bed, but also living a decent life. What are we going to do is what you and me must be focusing on. But now let's go through the... The article. So they're saying Tenai BT and Wash Mingwe are reportedly planning up to approach Nelson Chamisa for a possible reunion. Um, my apologies. So for a possible reunion, Blawai Mayor Deft Court had acknowledged the disarray within the opposition, advocating for a departure from personality driven politics and aging, re reconciliation among key figures to effectively change Zanpiev's dominance, which I said really making a lot of sense. And also, he emphasized the necessity of unity in confronting Zimbabwe's political challenges, underscoring the compl uh, complexity of the current opposition landscape. On the other hand, allies of Nelson Chamisa are reportedly vying for prominent positions within the yet-to-be-disclosed movement. This development comes in the work of the destabilization caused by the contentious recall of elected representatives following the 2023 elections. Chamisa's departure from the Triple C in January, citing alleged infiltration by ZANPF, triggered a scramble for power within the opposition ranks, with, with self-imposed as you know, Secretary Sengazo Shavangu, uh, wrestling control of the party and initiating recalls of legislators and councillors, Chamisa distanced himself from any specific opposition function or movement. Nevertheless, key figures close to Chamisa, notably Amos Chiba and Gifte Al Siziva, have been actively rallying up a support under the banner of the Blue Movement. The mobilization efforts, particularly in selection grassroots leaders for the movement, have led to internal divisions. According to insider sources, <clears throat> that's quite interesting. According to insider sources, um, the selection process for grassroots leaders has encountered disputes with some individuals imposing themselves into positions of authority. The grassroots members are demanding a move, inclusive approach to selective local leaders, are highlighting tensions within the um, burgeoning movement. Um, you can also hear, we, while declining to, to, com, to comment on the alleged infighting, a gift to Sisiva emphasized the overwhelming support for Chamisa among grassroots supporters, citing a fervent desire to, com, to combat dictatorship and champion democracy. Despite the anticipation surrounding the new movement, specific, specifics regarding its launch remain undisclosed. Sisiva emphasized the focus on building a mass movement and organizing at the grassroots level to address long 
long-standing electrical ch challenges in Zimbabwe. Recent attempts to organize rallies, however, face obstacles with a planned event, uh, in event in Mkoba constituency being banned by the police. I think we discussed that issue here when the police um, blocked the, you know, Triple C, you know, the function that was for um, Konanzi, you know, Surwali. You also remember that, which which can show you that we are back to square one because I mean we have faced the issue of um, you know rallies being banned and that's exactly where we are. But uh, Zanpif can do whatever they please they want to do. Nobody cares. They can dish out funds if they want. You know people can rally. The last time I checked, remember last week there were there was a report uh, or an article that was saying that they were not going to allow people to camp in big numbers because of the cholera. But we saw what was happening at Mutendi's church where the president was actually. That can show you that they are simply playing with people's minds. You know, it's a game. We can say this is not allowed because we know that then it can be allowed on the side where we are going and do whatever we want to do. But we are simply playing with you so that you sit back and relax. What am I trying to tell you, y'all? We need to be on a rampant to not start campaigning. Honestly, if you're in the bus campaign, if you're in the bus, if you're at your workplace, wherever you are, in your family, with your family, these people are on a campaign trail. We better not sit and relax in Zimbabwe and say, no, we are waiting for elections. No elections. We are going to do everything that we want to do right now. Either elections come or they don't, what we are going to do is make sure that at least we keep ourselves intact. We are united because these people aren't resting. You can see they are not resting. And what they do, they use financial muscle. But the sad part is the financial muscle belongs to the state. It's supposed to belong to the state, this money that is being dished out. Honestly, <laughs> It's money that's supposed to belong to the state, but they're doing it as a please. That's one of the reasons why they're holding on to power. There's no reason. Because looking at what's going on in the country, we all can see that they do not have the capacity to actually build Zimbabwe. But they're only there because they want to keep living, doing whatever they want. Importing cars when they want, giving to whoever they want. If they want to beat you, they can beat people they want. They want. Um, and for me, I'm sitting and I'm like, you guys, you're more or less the same as the gangsters. What's the difference? <laughs> You're like terrorizing people. To me, it's like you're simply like gangsters in the society. Because the leadership, from my understanding, is you lead by example. You lead from the front. You know, you must show people where you're going. But all we are seeing is up and down, up and down of drama. Um, you know, sharing. You can see them giving out monies. And you can hear some of their bodies. Vanakudata Gure saying, you guys should not talk about weakness. If it's not your money, he does what he wants with his money. But to my surprise, because I want that one, I wanted to see it in person, like the video. So we're going to drop a video there in the, in, the, in the video section that will show you what truly happened when the president confirmed a million before uh, Wikino Shiva even said a word. We shows that the man was we now, I was like, now it's like we know where the money is coming from. You also saw um, David Munangagwa kneeling for, for, for Mutendi. Did you saw that? Greeting the Mutendi people, kneeling down. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> twerking for the position. <laughs> you know, you know, slay queening for the positions. You know, you are slay queening for the power, y'all. You slay queening. That's what I'm saying. Honestly, I, because I love my brothers, but <laughs> we need to understand that we, all of us, we need to start Zimbabweans. <laughs> no one will fix Zimbabwe except us. You and me, we will fix this country. No one. And they always say, we are the people. We are the vene. We will fix it. Let's take the words as they are. We are the people that are fixing the country. So come you and I, we hold hands. Let's do what we can. We will stop all the nonsense. It has to come to an end. <laughs> I'm sorry. It has to come to an end. Now, because it's very important for us to actually listen to David Quarter talking about these issues there. Um, I think you, you heard uh, what David Quarter said when he spoke about the issue of leadership, which I think we're going yeah, to have to drop it in the evening. Because I'm coming back. Talking about the issue of the coup, I think you heard, um, you know, what's circulating right now that um, people are alleging that um, the coup is coming. <laughs> you know, some people are saying that uh, going at the days people can discuss about the coup, you never know about the coup. Let me tell you, with the situation in the country currently, which I don't even know, honestly, I don't know who is advising the president, whoever is advising the president, that person is not a wise person. From the time that we were dealing with the issue of FARS, I mean, it was a mess. You know, uh, because it, the, 
what they are doing, they're simply singing, like daily singing, because everyone is watching. I think even people within the parameters of ZANPF are not happy with what's going on right now. They're not happy. Everyone is just unhappy. So at the end of the day, whatever that's going to come is going to be coming. Now, because I told you the issue of, say, you heard that, um, you know, the, the, the triple C cabal from the, um, the side of Washington, they may be looking at, uh, you know, having a conversation with um, Nelson Chamisa. Now, I also saw um, an article that was sent out by Hopo Shingono, and I think he was simply confirming this. But he did not say it directly, but I can read that, that message that he sent out on X today. He said political leaders who have the gift of listening succeed tremendously. Case in point was Ronald Reagan. He was a very average B-list Hollywood actor who went on to become one of the America's iconic presidents dealing with the Cold War to its finality. In our position right now, we know in the country, there's a Cold War. <laughs> Zimbabwe is, is, is in a Cold War. The government is in a Cold War with its people. Definitely. I mean, we have heard Temba Muliswa say the same thing. that Because you can't tell me that money is being dished out. Cars are being dished out. When we can see, we can if I can't afford that lifestyle. And you expect us to just look at you not saying a word. It's a cold war. People may not be saying anything, but they are saying something. You know, I've always said if you're in an abusive relationship, like our situation, right, when you're still talking and say you don't like what's going on, you're like, I do not like what's going on. The day you keep quiet, you become dangerous because anything can happen, right? Mm hmm Zimbabwe is the way they are quiet. It's a cold war. Because nobody is allowed to question anything. There's no accountability. There's no transparency. It's just that whatever we say, you follow. But whatever we try to follow, we are going absolutely nowhere. So what do you expect in a position like that? What do you expect? So he said he succeeded because he had a team of advisors smarter than him. But he didn't feel insecure because he accepted his limitations and also understood why it is. So in my bed. Uh, he also, he also he understood why it was important to listen. Leaders who don't listen who will be surrounded by yes men who are there to massage, so to massage their ego while it's the crush and eventually a burn. Leaders who surround themselves with diverse perspectives and actively listen to their advisors makes, make more informed decisions and navigate challenges more successfully. Leaders who hear what they want to hear create an environment where uh, discerning voices are silent, silenced, which leads to blind spots and eventually failure. This becomes tragic for leaders who are in charge of countries because they will sink millions of citizens with their uh, hebris coupled with ignorance. Guys, do you see what actually happened in, um, in um, this uh, Senegal? Did you see what happened in Senegal? Apparently, the guy that was contesting was banned. And he appointed uh, one of his, uh, you know, uh, one of his ally, and he ran. He won. You saw them everywhere they go. They always move together, right? Let me tell you, we need to get to a point where we unite, Zimbabwe. Let's come together. Our goal is to free this nation, not positions, right? The goal is for every Zimbabwean to come together. Because where we are right now, I'm going to ask you a question: If honestly, what people are alleging or what is spe speculating that the cars that are being given out, they are really coming from the president seeking a third term. These are allegations. Some are also saying that, um, you know, even these um, money that are being dropped, there is a video that is circulating now where they were saying, you're going to see quite a lot of money being dished out to churches. You haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. You also remember that um, on the 31st of December, the SDA church, you know, the president spoke, his wife spoke, the, the you know, the, the, the police commissioner spoke, which was, uh, uh, you know, the spokesperson for Godwin Matanga spoke. Also, the army as well, um, this, that was um, Valerio spoke. That can show you what's going on in the background, Yao. And uh, at that time, Kudata Gure was talking about Kenan. And Kenan has always been a mandra for Chamisa. He hijacked that mandra. He's going to the church. He's sanitizing all the nonsense. He's telling the church, we are almost going to Kenan. Let me tell you, Zimbabwe, we are just being played dead, Yao. We need to be wiser than the devil. If, let me tell you, we would mind to have a debate. Face to face, y'all, like Zanfia people, if you want this, have real confront debates where we talk of facts here, not, um, you know, don't use force or abuse or harassment. If you genuinely say what you're doing is right, 
Why are you afraid of really having head on debates and discussing the issues of Zimbabwe? Why are you afraid? But what he's saying here, Hopo Shingona, I agree, and I completely concur with that. It's very important that we have to respect each and every person's idea. The Zimbabwe we want is not a Zimbabwe where we can move again to dictatorship because we've been there. And I'm not saying anyone is a dictator. I'm simply saying let's have a community that respects ideas. And you remember, each and every person's idea is important. That's why we need to sit down and have a conversation around the table. Right, because ideas are not only going to say, oh no, John, Mary's ideas are great. Ideas simply means, let's sit around, drop your ideas, I drop mine. What do you guys think? Would this work for us? Okay, what about this cur curriculum? Does it work for our children? What can we do with the hospitals? Do you think if we buy this kind of equipment, it will help us moving forward? That's the Zimbabwe that we want, a conversation. Not whatever I said goes. Uh-uh, that will never work. We are sitting today with the issue of multiple currency. Another shenanigans that we, I don't even know what to say. It's a mess. And I was sitting and asking myself, honestly, guys, looking at Zimbabwe and how uh, amazing our country is. We have been in this predicament for decades. The issue of currency, I'm saying for decades. When did we last saving our own currency? That strong Zim dollar that crushed. When did it crush again? I think the tooth is it before the 2000 or 2000 I don't remember but you remember when we had our own currency yes but what happened how did we get here and why can't we resolve the issue guys years down the line we still stuck with the same old thing it's a vicious cycle of failure vicious cycle of toxicity vicious cycle of nonsense we need to come together and fix this there's no any other way around we have to come together and fix this. Now, the issue of currency, I know that Father Amade has been having a field day. Let me tell you, the woman is working tirelessly, morning and dawn, <laughs> confronting, you know, uh, the spokesperson, especially Nick Mangwana. And some of the, uh, you know, interesting tweets they're dropping every time on social media, they are being confronted head on and saying, no, guys, because she was asking a question. He said, ask yourself, yeah, your Zimbabweans across the board, why didn't he donate Zim dollars to the church? I'm, talk, I'm referring to Mutendi's church. By the way, I'm telling you facts. Mutendi, my sister was married to his brother. So my sister who went to heaven was married to his brother. I've got my kids whom I love. That I've got Mutendi's son. So I'm talking about people that are close to me. But well, when I talk about Zimbabwe, I will love you as a family. But when you talk about Zimbabwe, we mean business. So Mutendi, I know him very well. He's my family. <laughs> you know. So Mazemar is having a few days, like I mentioned. You know, ask yourself, why did he donate Zim dollar to, um, you know, to the church, which is the, 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 the Mutendi church, um, you know, but they, they keep on bringing all these shenanigans of Zim dollars, you know, and they talk about, you know, different bond notes, we have got the bond notes, right, which is a Zim dollar that the president has always been saying is the strongest currency in the region. Well, how come the strongest currency never survive? I don't know who's sitting today, I think it's sitting almost like a 45, if I'm not mistaken, you know, I still need to check my figures correctly. It's, 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 it's sad, but we're still seeing people doing all manner of things. So she said, ask yourselves, why didn't he donate Zim dollars, RTGS, bond notes, Ziggy Jiggies, or any other one of their current experiences? They cheer on nonsense, but they have no faith in their own funny money. They rejected the domestic currency left, right, and center. What are being led with? Because she's always been talking about we are being led by thieves. You know, we, then she said, we need the new leaders. This is quite sad. But I'm telling you now, what we need to also remember, what we need to also remember is we need to have a way forward. But something that was quite very interesting, which I'm going to be looking at tonight, that I'll be back here around 8 p.m. We're running another live again because this is one of the cool speculations. It's a strong, powerful one. Um, and we need to dig into it. Guys, you have seen last week when Eddie Cross was having an interview with HSTV that he spoke about, um, he spoke about the, the, you know, the VP. First of all, guys, I really think, this is me, the level of disrespect that people have towards the, the VP is too much. Don't forget, Ian McMillan, again, during the time of the gold mafia, you know, you heard him talking about how you called him a dad ahead. You also heard last week that was, um, you know, uh, Eddie Cross, Eddie Cross calling him again, said to him that he would never be the president of Zimbabwe, even for, for five minutes. My point is, um, how far are we going to take the level of disrespect that's going down in the country? He's the vice president of a country. Whether we like it or not, on paper he is. 
right? But I've seen that he wasn't there at Mutendi. He wasn't there. And people are like, even his wife wasn't look really happy. Like I said, I'm going to drop the video to see the whole thing that happened literally there. You'll see she wasn't looking happy, you know. But, but again, 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 when I start dropping, dropping in my principles, I always say to you, you can never so even expect a good, unfortunately. It is what it is, not because of me, but because of nature. You know, nature, the law of nature is you sow evil, you reap evil. You sow good, you reap good. You know, the Bible says, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest shall never, never cease. So what God says, it is what it is. You know, you, uh, the scriptures can never be broken. <laughs> you know what I mean? It can never be broken. Mm -hmm. So... I guess people are um, looking at him because remember, you know, he contributed a lot during the time of the coup. He really, really, he and SP and all the guys that did work extremely hard, they were in the army. I mean, they were behind the whole thing. We saw them working hard. So people are asking questions, looking at where we are today. What's your take? What's your take here? I have more than 300 people here. I'm asking you to go in and like the life. Push the algorithm. Let other people come through. We need to talk. We need to start working on campaigning because that people is campaigning. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that I was too comfortable, so I'm definitely going to come here and I'm going to push. We need to fix this country. Enough is just enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. People are saying the president is working on a third term, is building his dynasty. That's what people are saying on social media. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, ne? but oh, by the way, by the way, you know, the president is very close to Museveni, right? You know, Museveni, the president in, in Uganda. No, no, no. Am I correct? Yes, Uganda. Which is a very ruthless dictator. He's a, he's a pathetic dude because honestly, Museveni is not a good person. Uh, he's treating uh, Ugandans so wrongly, really, really bad. Museveni recently appointed his own son, you know, to be now the, the general of the army, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you also know that Sean is kind of, his ranks are going up, you know, for president. I'm talking about Sean, the president's son. <laughs> Sean Mnangagwa. People are saying his ranks are kind of, you know, <laughs> they're appreciating every time. So, <laughs> who knows what? <laughs> quite interesting days ahead, y'all. Mm -mm, I'm just quite interesting days ahead. We always want to be having conversation. Right? We always going to be having conversation. So yeah, I saw that the you know the the VP wasn't there. He did not attend to the whole shenanigans. This one million dollar uh, you know thing. We've seen cars. Actually, saw today as well that Wikino Shiva is alleging that he bought the latest Rolls Royce for for excuse me for what's his name the one that literally hijacked Mabuku. You know Scott Sagupua. <laughs> so I'm like asking myself Wikino. How much money do you have? A billionaire, excuse me, a billionaire. He's buying cars. Like, recently the chiefs got the cars. Um, my celebrities are getting cars. You know, um, you know, now churches are getting money, had cash money, one million US dollars. What's up, what's up with the hospitals? No medication. And when people start to ask, could I take a from nowhere? You're so-called billionaire. And I, I talk about Kudata Gray a lot because you know why? He's a Christian. He says he's a Christian. I've seen him holding a microphone in the church and preach. And even if when he's face to face with him, I'm like, sir, you know, I protect my people for the church people. Yeah? If you follow Jesus like I do, <laughs> I know Jesus' role model, modeling, the way he model the church. You know, it's a church of compassion, of humility, of love, of unity. We just celebrated Jesus this past, this Easter. But by the way, my Easter is every day because me and Jesus were like bodies, a daily thing. So... So I'm not, um, as much as I love Easter, but in me and Jesus, we celebrate Easter daily. So don't worry about that. But because you are a Christian, you talk about Jesus all the time. You spoke about getting into Canaan, and I heard you. Is this the Canaan that you are promising? Deception that is playing right in front of our face. You know, playing the poor. People are pauperized for decades so that they can play with them any minute they want to. People are begging. Even in the church of Mutenwe, it dropped a million US dollars. I saw guys begging for cars. The videos are circulating on social media as we speak. Begging from Wiki no Chivayo. And we all, we all know, yeah, we all know the truth. Yeah. 
Anywho, let's take a listen. They're alleging that it's a top, they said it's a top army guy. I cannot confirm or deny, but because whenever I see information on social media, it's difficult. When, it, when the audio is circulating, you don't know. But I think what I love about this guy, he says, guys, Zimbabweans, let's come together. Because what, what is happening right now in, the, in, in our society is extremely bad. Let's, let's come together, you know. And by the way, before I even play that audio, I want to remind you because we're going to meet in Zimbabwe. This is for real, y'all. You and me, we must work together to make sure we stop every evil act. I'm saying every. I love to call it evil because I can see what's happening in the background. It's evil. Every evil act we're going to stop. We're not playing. <laughs> remember that um there is power in words i will tell you a fact there is power in words they keep speaking while you're quiet so what do you do you speak back it's as simple as that <laughs> when the devil speaks you speak back <laughs> you can't just say whatever you want right it is what it is actually power in words what i'm just telling you is that whether they like it or not the freedom is coming the freedom is around the corner um, you know, you can feel it. You can feel it. I can feel it in my bones that even though they are acting as if they are trying to make us sing, they are singing. <laughs> they are literally singing. I've never seen such kind of desperation that's going on in our society today. But what can we say? Let's take a listen to him. They're calling that he's a top, um, you know, he's a top soldier. But let's hear him out. What he's saying. <laughs> Government told you that the government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going Mari kubamu umwe Zimbabwe. Ndi muna nga apa shamari yake, apa hama yake. Asinga si ukama weza anu PF na na mteni ndiani. Asinga si ukama weza anu PF na mnaga kwa ndiani. Asinga si ukama weza anu PF na 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 marangi, nao kwa marangi ndiani. Nao kwa masha ndiani. Saka musati mari hii ya kuna kuna chifayo. Chivayanga ite mari unarika nyika erei, comrade. Good question. Ivi ni maho veti mchitari sa zuriku itika pakatipa nyika ya Zimbabwe nowadays. Hakuna kwa tiru kuyenda wa bereki. Masoja ya nyika gana mchona zinu zuriku itika. Muna ziwa masoja muna ti chemeza, kuti chemeza chayeko chayeko so. Neka mwika, muna peka uniform mchiti mwika na kubasa every day. Mwika nurangana chiku makembi. 
Marume mara kuchuto. Mchuo na sisi sulukiti kwa namu nanga. Ndo wa upenyi wa Zimbabwe. Eo kuta anojika. Ano tambila ba duzere zanu PF. Ndiya achajika ufumi wa Zimbabwe. Kwa na iti kwa na siri pa duze. Kwa na wadi kine nera ni shikazi. Kwa zirema. Kwa mapofu. Kwa chembele ni harawa. Varomba wacha jaya ele ufumi wenyika. Nukuti munanga kwa aliku ba. Wakuwe makereke kwa suina. Apeza wakuwe makitari. Akuenda kwa wakuwe makereke. Wakuwe machiwe mazimamba kwa wapa. Iko suina apeza kwa wakuwe makereke. Chasara kuenda kwa wakuwe mabawa. Ni wakuwe chihure. Ni wakuwe simbafa. Saka ora iti. Tiliko ina kupi. Vano piki savese vanana nikiki niko shuneshu Chinone tanecho kuta hako kema grazi hako Kwa nanti matuku la fumo matuka Katsotsi ka mbaka mbafa Chia katsotsi ka benzike munu Katsina ke munu ka matuku Kwa nanti kwa hii Eee senior lawyer senior lawyer Uri mbaka la fumo matuku Uri mbaka Ii mbaka chini chai chai ino Ino hukura na kumasure Uno shandi soa na maelekisha na hapu shika Doka uno shandi soa kuda kufiringi za umapata na pikisa Mese wa rumanu wa numapa Iko shini mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Iko shini mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mapata tuyo pikisa na pikisa Mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Wano shuti nina mungu mbozo wa rumanu wa numapa Hakuna nonzi ANC ANC watu 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 Hakuna mafu matuka hana bato Ne wangwe vesi warume wabu nonzi Wabaya vesi wa shitora wabaya Wana bato lukuda wada wada shukubatu mkwenye wabaya Imba vati shusha wana zanu pia vuzi azia Na vesi wa wakuro mazi mambao Wana ningriki ni wabaya Wakuro makireke wangu wachu wa shinju wachu wesa Munanga kwa hariku kambe na Sulipa chena Sinono sulipa chena Sukutika na uchuona uri muna kafurika Uri mu Zimbabwe Uri kuunze kwenye nika. Uri ya tosona nika kutimunanga kwa hariku kambe na. This guy hariku kambe na this man. Wano piki satika wara hiru watika rano sa. Ngatina ambe kichi kambe na. Chita ura kichiru ma ground to kupi. Ngatina ambe kichi kambe na chita ura. Nukuti sati. Sini sita kabaka pengele nika. Pengele nika hariku shandi swane za RPF. Vacha misa wata ura kuti ngava pushe vano wa kambe ni. Wanana kumle di stalos. Wana champion. Ngati kambe ni nambaya mchita basa wana mazibaba Zanu pia fuhiriku kambe na shahiri kuitaisi Yo kata nisa sojite wiki na ane mari Wiki na ane mari ane mari yoko pi mwana mdika Ishala kuma baze kwa niki musuno Wiki neo ari kushandi iswa na wamu na ngaba Wiki neo ari kushandi iswa Maria puwa sne miya mtendi ya vaku humende Tino hida mari edu vana the ZCC Na miya tino hida mari edu Hino fana kutzoki na muwongwe nyika I love that, I love that Mungu pua nempa fight Ujika nempa fight Mungu tuka mina fangeri nipo wano kwa mkendi Wanane emia Mungu tuka mina Nyingini ipia mungu tuka mina Iko shino mchangu wata bapa Mchangu wati vayato ni tamari kwa marange Mchangu wati vayato ni tamari kwa masha Mchangu wati vayato ni tamari kwa nyingini kini Kwa wimbo Iko shino waka fangu sa tamari kwa marika na katiru Wanoe mazi baba mchiti muno pali za muno tena mteru wa juwani mba za juwani Uchini nama tane si pambo za kaita sana chizi si fayo Zino shandisi kwa si doli za wani Zinza raki chana chana anta mbisa mari yere Pafunda kuti si fayo kuruzi wake ruwese Ainda yere kuno pama milioni 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 kuta hashtaka kupanyika Kana unu fuwa zino shana wanya tona weka utai si fayo kuti zinza raki paka kune mari Shua shua kuti zimu nakatu wangu pao ni mari Ande mari kwa suwa su Anga pa yere ne emi aga mire na munaka kwa patuse za kaita isu Chivayo itseba, chidori, chidi kushandi iswa. Vasikana kuma bawa, tima tineo kambena, mungu kuma bawa ikoko. Ma windi, tima tineo kambena. Tasara nenguwa, munanga kubaru kambena, nesa haru piyo. Kwa nama yu msika kambena, please, muli pamuli pese. Ivi ni mawa veti mimi wana mchipa, nana chimbukidu. Nyo sisi wawuti munoshika kupandukila, utiene, wako urai wako tewa. Pati kambena isikle. Ma driver ya mabazi, ma driver ya marori Muri mu marori marata kura wadu kambenai Ma driver ya mateks ya mawe Zimbabwe, isha zona kaire Zimbabwe Isu zirikula kufutish Zirikula kufutish, apana anu president anotonga matongi na kata sehaya Kwa kufamba uchipa wanu mari, uchita mbisa wanu mari Bati uchipatala ma, muri poles Muma jeri muri poles 
Nushikoro muri pwale si wano 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 Mwari kutsungai ya mashandu urumende maticha manesi masoja mapurisa Pati mwari murikenda kuno paka kuno makarike mari ya kungo pakuti mata Mwashan za stara kuti chifaya hapa wanu mari Tirima pofi eresu wana ya mzimawu Tirima pofi eresu Tirima pofi eresu Tirima pofi erei Warume waruma gruba kasi ya nasiana please Ngatiba tirane Izi zwa haguda putish Wacha misa nga wafurike Wanu waru kambena Am I the only one uh, who feel disappointed with the church? Am I the only person? Like my understanding is when things really heat up in the country or in any place, the church should be like the last point of defense. who we'll come together and begin to bring sanity. Kenya did the same. Kenya, when things really were tough, they came together. The church said, we can't do this anymore. We have to make sure we restore sanity in this nation. What's going on in Zimbabwe? Pastors are pretending like they can't see. I've been resending a lot of tweets to Makandiwa lately. So, sir, sir, I've seen you. We are there by the inauguration. You were there. I saw you. I saw you, Magaya. I saw you, Mr. Magaya, then. I also saw a lot of pastors. Wutabwashi as well. In Bulawa, I saw them recently. You know, this Guti, you went to heaven before we help us and solve issues. My point is, what is the church saying about all that is going on in the country? Why I'm saying that is because people are coming in the church suffering, struggling. And the pastors are saying, let me pray for you. But in the night, you're doing deals with these people. And you know that's, that's where the solution lies. So my point is, what is the church saying and doing to resolve the issues? I'm disappointed with the church. I'm really disappointed with the church in Zimbabwe. Like, honestly, I was expecting all the pastors across the country to come together and say, sir, we need to see you, you know. I don't think the president will say no. We should lose, but I'm tender. But you can't resolve issues when it's always about talking to your friend. I mean, if you ever sit down, like I'm talking about tender, sit down and say, Chamisa, can I see you? President Emerson Mnangagwa, we've got a problem. People are hungry. This country, people are suffering. We need to fix this country. Did they ever say that? I don't think so. But they're collecting one million. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> they really don't care. Again, that can show you that something is wrong with the church. I'm disappointed with the church. I mean, if you can have, when we have a new president, and honestly, and I know I'm grown, I'm in my 50s, 60s, I will go to his office and say, I need to speak to you. If we don't resolve issues, things will turn very ugly. Because remember, people belong to God. God, the whole nation, the whole world belongs to God. God can be patient, letting you do your nonsense, but he will come for you. And they should know. That when issues are being addressed by the heavens, there will be heavy consequences. And that's the role of the church to, to meet up with the leaders and say, yeah, mm -mm, mm -mm. but people can get abducted, beaten up and tortured, and they pretend like they didn't even see. Right? They will pretend like they don't even see the leaders of the church. Prophets all across the board. You are a prophet, but you are sitting with people with problems. And you know where the problem lies because the goal of the church is to get to the bottom of the problem and resolve them in an amicable way. I'm sure President Emerson Mnangagwa would respect that the church at least come together and sit down with him. But no, the Zimbabwean churches are different. I'm very disappointed with the church, extremely disappointed with the church. Honestly, I feel like pastors have laid down the people, especially the poor. They've laid down the people. I know they can collect the last dollar from the poor, which is quite very sad. I literally have heard that young girls are selling their bodies for a dollar. You've seen videos that are circulating online today. That's how bad it is in the country. Very disappointing and heartbreaking. And they just don't know we pray for you. No, we pray and we believe God. No, sometimes you pray, but you pray and take action, isn't it? It's not only prayer that resolve issues. Sometimes you need to take action, go outside and make things happen. Do what's right. Not to keep on sitting and doing nothing. Do you see a woman that was literally shaking a body for the money for the car? Uh, again, you know, within the parameters of, uh, you know, of these people. You saw it? Right. Did you see the lady? Okay. So that lady as well, I actually sh was shocked when I saw a tweet that was sent out by Nick Mangwana. Nick Mangwana sent out a message and said, you must, you, are you guys surprised? With people twerking, they're twerking all the time and you don't say anything. But you are, you are shocked that she did and then she got a car. 
that can show you the moral bankruptcy in our country. That mothers are now dancing to get food. Dancing for them to be sure it's like a club. You know, when you people, those that are going to, <laughs> you have to call it <laughs> stripping club. <laughs> right. Mothers are twinkling for, for food. I remember when I was young, when I was a teenager, uh, there was a time we were, we were driving past Meborin. And you know, Meborin, the side of Meborin and Harry, was getting very late. And that time we saw you have an there. Those old, the cabals for ZPF. They'll be having women sitting on their laps. These people have been shitting for a long time, y'all. Sorry to mind my word. They've been doing nonsense for a long time. And that's their lifestyle. It's always slave queens doing all the nonsense at the expense of everybody. But look what they now they're doing it openly. Women can twerk for them so that you can get a car. Get an acquired car and beg us. You know, they get your point, you know. It's, it's one minute when you hear the Bible being preached. But in this era, we see it right in front of our eyes. You know, when you hear about those um, leaders that were ruthless and wicked, they'll do the worst. That's the era that we are in. It's happening right in front of us. People are hungry. One million. But the hospitals don't have medication. Can someone tell me where are the air ambulances that you saw? What about the zoop calls that were, you know, commissioned in the country? Where are they? People are asking questions. No one can answer you. They do as they please. You take it or you leave it. You and I, we need to come together and make sure we fix this country for the betterment of our future. It's no longer an issue of politics. And then I think right now where I'm sitting, I'm looking at them and said, guys, you may have titles, but honestly, we are tired. We are sick and tired. Come together, let's fix the country. My brothers and sisters, it's you and I. We can do this. The whole vets as well, the whole vets are furious. They said we have had enough. They sent out a statement to the president. They have had enough. They can't take it anymore. They are hungry, you know. But it's one thing. We, we've spoken a lot. I mean, every, every interview I listen to, um, there's so many people who are unhappy in the country. But now the question we are asking is, where to from here? What action are we taking to make sure that we resolve issues? Because we can complain. But honestly, we need to take steps. What steps are we going to take in order for us to bring sanity? You and me, we need to start talking. Let's have conversations so that we can fix our country. That's definitely what I have for you right now. And I want to tell you, said, guys, unity again, once more, unity. And I repeat, if we don't unite, we are going absolutely nowhere. This is why I'm saying let the, whatever that's going on within Nelson Chami, Satin Day, we, we, they don't have to be friends. <laughs> Right now, it's no longer about that. You saw what happened in, in guys. You saw what happened in Uga, in, sorry, in Senegal. Can, did you see? The person that was supposed to be a candidate is not the president. That can show you that you get to a point where you say it's not about me, but it's about sanity. You know, it's no longer about a position. It's like it's about sanity in the country. We need to get to that point, guys, where we say I'm going to be selfless. All I want is for this country to be better. I'm here because I'm desperate to see better in this country. I'm desperate to walk in a row in a clean place. I'm desperate to see successful businesses where people are authentically doing right. It, it flabbergasts me to hear that someone is a billionaire in Zimbabwe. The question is, how did you get there? Because most systems are collapsing. How did you get there? You get there, but who can crook, right? So who can crook doesn't work. Let's make sure we create, um, you know, a very conducive environment that people can thrive in whichever thing that they're doing. We are even fighting to have styling in the country to have a, um, a internet as we speak. <laughs> you know, like I'm talking about the internet that is affordable and also that is fast, so that at least young people can create employment. We are fighting for internet. You, you hear this? That can show you what's going on in the background. But we all know why we are in this predicament. There are people who knows if they are exposed to information. No. They'll be too wise. So we might as well make sure that they do not get to know what's going on. We can do whatever we want. We can lie to them. But God, but God, I said, but God, I know him. I know what he can do. So guys, we must unite. Like I always say, I'll let you guys just, you know, love each other. Where we hear my fumo, we need to come together. Let's unite as a Zimbabwean people. You understand? We must 
unite once again. Um, there's someone who asked me a very interesting question here. Yeah, he said to me that, um, he said, is it brutal truth what you're saying? But my question is, where are you best? I think we're be our best is not the issue. <laughs> we're in 2024. There are so many ways we can communicate and we can unite. We don't have to be in the same place. Even during the struggle, they were not in one place. You know, people were all over the place, but they were all having one goal, freedom. So you and me, we must all come together and work to make sure that we achieve the freedom that we're all looking for. You know what I mean? So don't worry about where I am. It's not important. You know, there's no April Fool Day. We don't play with April Fool here. We mean business here. There's no April, April Fool. The stuff that I'm talking about is nothing to do with April Fool. As a matter of fact, I don't have time for those things. I'm too busy to, to, to attend um, jokes. <laughs> I don't have time. All right, so as we take moving as shoes on pay products, um, so we don't want to know what are they planning to do. Okay, I don't say, hi, my sister, keep you up the good work. Thank you. Traitors will draw us back much more. Um, Nelson Shamsa should never work with Nguve Biti Wente. They're just a bunch of people who do not care about anyone but themselves. There are, there are the principled people whom he can work with. Let me also explain and make this very clear that when people talk about unity, they're not actually talk about Chede Biti Nguve. The, 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 the unity is bigger than these people. They're simply two brothers. Um, you know, they, again, <laughs> The opposition is bigger than Tenebi and, and Washington Ngove. Washington are simply in, in, in individuals like you and me. You know what I mean? So we really cannot reduce the struggle that we, we, that we are on in quest of freedom to two individuals. That would be crazy. 
you know we, we let's not worry much about about um uh, you know those two let's focus on what can we do to unite to make sure that we create a society that we know we deserve a build a zimbabwe that we know we want um you know a zimbabwe that we care for everybody i am just so sick and tired of this issue of uh, this country is just like what's going on in zanpia for quarters is the worst thing that any person can ever do and so like it's like you are you are giving food to you know you are a mom maybe a stepmother you know you are giving food to your kids and you are leaving the other kids for maybe your these children for the husband hungry you know you know like they eat in front of the kids that's what's going on in the country it's as simple as that that's the exact analogy you know what i mean eating when other people are hungry they're looking at you imagine that some people are going to bed without eating food and uh, you are giving a million dollar, splashing money to anyone, go take the, you're giving people cars. What is that supposed to mean? Is they don't care. They don't care whether you're here or they, they, they actually don't even care. <laughs> yeah. But you and me, we must come together and make sure that we build the Zimbabwe that we want. So I'll see you a little bit later on. I'm going to do you a favor and drop the video. So there's a video that's coming up now with actually what transpired, what happened at, um, at Mutendi's church when uh, they were literally handing over the million dollars. You could hear the president, Masul Manangagwa, confirming the amount before. And the, you, you, you see what's the name of this guy, man. Um, uh, you know, we know, didn't know what to say. And uh, President Masul Manangagwa confirmed. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, you know, he confirmed it's a million dollars. Yeah, not a million bond, no dollar, US dollars to the church. So I'll see you later. We're going to be talking about the coup uh, and what's going on in the background and what's happening in ZANPF currently. I just want to talk about some of the things that I saw during the depot, talk about how Kasuku is weak, which I was laughing and I'm like, no, Kasuku is not as weak. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> you know, hmm. You know, sometimes you pretend to be weak, but we know exactly what you are doing. But anyway, we'll look at that story a little bit later in the, in the eve. Around 8 p.m., I'll be back here so that we talk about that. Um, I'll see you later on, guys. I love you all. May God bless you, and may God bless Zimbabwe. And bye for now.